Hey, what's going on, guys? This is the Mean Jimmy Gamer, and I'm joined by the one, the only Dakota Styles Life from Instagram. Hola, como están? And we're back here once again on the Friendcraft SMP Minecraft server that I co own. And we're here on Friendcraft Friday. Exciting stuff, Friendcraft Friday, every week on the Friendcraft SMP. We're live on twitch.tv slash Mean Jimmy Gamer. Doing some Minecraft, hanging out, talking to chat. If you're watching this on the YouTube archive version on the MJG Live Uncut, please come check out my la my Minecraft live stream on Twitch. It's really cool to just talk to people live. But also, I really would appreciate a subscribe on YouTube. So please, if you're watching this on the YouTube version, give your boy a subscribe. Really would appreciate it. But anyway, back to Twitch. If you're watching me on Twitch, give me a follow too, of course. You know, I should have to say that. Being, give me a follow would be really cool. You know? But anyway, here we are. So as you read from the title, I opened a new shop and I'm doing some planning this 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 stream, of course. And uh, Koda, what's your plans for today? Uh, Well, my Switch is currently charging, so I'm just yeah. kind of uh, here to the side. Um, whenever I get on, though, I'm going to be looking to collect some materials for an upcoming project. Yeah, it's always fun. I'll fix that in a minute. And of course, as it comes for the Friendcraft SMP, I'm live, and this is also, like, anyone can watch it. All the people that are on the SMP can watch it. Anybody on, you know, anybody that follows me can watch it. We don't care. On my live streams, I carefully try not to share too much information or show off stuff that might be delicate information. Yes, Wedge is right. If you have Prime... Don't forget, you get one free Twitch sub every month, so it'd be really cool if it'd be me that you would get that one free sub too if you have Amazon Prime. Thank you, Daddy Amazon, for giving Twitch that privilege. So, hello, Wedge. <laughs> Welcome in. Congrats on nine months of being subbed on Twitch to me. That's really cool. And also, uh, hey, how you doing, Moon? How you doing? You're re you're rewatching the Batman of your sis. That's Ooh. so cool. That's very cool. Yeah. Is it the first time she's watched it, or is it the first... Obviously, you've watched it before, so... Hey, FaZe, it's been a long time, and no! I don't have the talking lady on, so stop spamming me with bits, even though I will take the bits. Thank you so much for supporting me. I really do appreciate it. <laughs> also, where have you been? Why aren't you on the server? See, he does this because when I have the person... I have a, a person that talks my chat every now and again... Like the text to speech. The text to speech. He does that and she just goes bit, 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 bit. Well, you just did it, so. You no, were... I'm just, I'm giving an example of uh -huh, it. It's, it's actually uh -huh. usually longer. Like, the more bits he puts in, the more he's, she says it. And also, depending on how fast I have her text speed, she'll say it slower than that. So I'll be sitting here talking and she'll just be saying bit, 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 bit bit for forever or like bit, 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 bit. so i really do appreciate it uh the bits really do count they they mean something a long yeah. run so yeah and also it's raining i can't get it to stop raining it's super annoying i wasn't gonna start when it rained but i could not get it to stop raining but whatever it's fine <laughs> but second for her third for me what happens when you speed it up does it yeah, it's Sound just like a, a gun. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a machine gun. That's what it is. It's um, just a machine gun. Wedge, you, you misspelled said? a couple there. You missed. He said bit, 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 but, but, bit, bit. And then something else I wanted to show off is not only have I been working on my shop, I've been a busy boy on the server. I also did some remodeling of my sparter, of my starter base. So if I walk downstairs, you can see I did some little uh, <laughs> he did some that on sparter, purpose. <laughs> some sparter base. If I walked downstairs, I did some little light, some little, some little cool light looks to it. So I got the stone in. I am using some polished andesite. I got some lanterns in there. I also added the wood staircase to get rid of cobblestone. <laughs> yep. 
Or it looks like it's a message for you, Coda, from Whiff, from Wedge. And I also did some redecorating down here too, my portal area and our portal area at the Squid Clan base. Coda, you can be our TTS. Hee <laughs> hee. TTS. I don't know. I don't get it. She's totally lost. If you can see her face lost. right now, she's just like, uh, sure. <laughs> but yep. So I, I added the follow. I add the wood staircase. Oh, text oh. to speech. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, is the text to speech actually on right now? Oh no, it's not. He's no, just, he's oh saying my God, I can be. I actually text got to scared. I, I really did. I was like, oh my gosh, should I just laugh at Faze just for him to be like, I don't know, what he's talking about the lady's talking right now, mate. But <laughs> he's Canadian. He's that's, what they, that's what they say. Oh yeah, Aussie. They say that in Aussie. But I got the. I I love. If you guys can't tell, I love freaking polished basalt. It looks so cool. It's like a. Uh, I don't know. Is like, that I look, polished or is that just regular basalt? No, it's polished basalt. Oh. This uh, it just it just looks like a freaking. It looks like a uh, a stone tree, and I love it. It's so cool. Because I'm using it like I would it's like, like petrified like, wood. Yeah, like I would use it like I would for logs, but it looks way better next to the stone. So I used it's a gray, lot. Yeah. Of course, I used my favorite. I love since we've since I've introduced deep slate. I've been using a lot of deep slate on projects because deep slate looks cool. Like it just is so cool and so it easy does. to get it once looks you. So cool. When you're mining as much as I do, deep slate is so easy to get. Even yeah. though sometimes I do run out now because I use it so much, but like it's still it's so cool and easy to get. And I used a little detail of like the, the chiseled deep slate. Yeah, I know text to speech wedge. I seen that. <laughs> no, he said that earlier. Oh, he said it earlier. Yeah, he said oh, that I thought earlier. it just from the corner of my eye. I thought it popped up. No, <laughs> it's so crazy. I'm I'm so focused on showing my stuff off. No, we then... already read it and everything. <laughs> I don't know. I'm jumping. And then I made a cool little lan a cool lantern thing here. I, I originally had some hanging lanterns here, but I was like, no, let's like give it some personality. So like all the lanterns have different chain links. And it looks uh, it looks really cool. I like it. I had some more detail in here. Not too much to the ceiling. Didn't do anything to the ceiling in here either. I thought I just kind of thought this room looked okay, but I think eventually I will come around and work on my uh, my enchantment area too. But then going downstairs, I did a little bit of detailing here. I blocked off this area. This is blocked off for right now for uh, later. So I swear I can't figure out how to build with anything other than Deep Slate. Deep Slate? <laughs> I'm trying to come up with a design for my next build and I'm totally, totally failing. I so get that. Look at I me, feel like, that so, so much. Like, my 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 past love comes in as my as I build because like I love andesite with stone brick. Mm -hmm. I've also learned to love these guys, and then like my original love for like my favorite Minecraft combination of these two materials of dark oak and spruce. Yeah, always comes back eventually. And then lanterns. I love lanterns. I love work. I love working lanterns into things. So uh, eventually, I'm thinking I'm gonna replace these with uh, the blue lanterns. I think the blue lan the soul fire lanterns actually look cooler in here. Mm. Yeah, I thought so too. I thought it was a good way to add some depth into an area where it's just a box, but like with this kind of hanging out here, it looks good. And also like the the trimming. No, he's on talking it. the alcoves like on the side. Oh yeah. 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 So I did this. I think that was like really cool. I too. I did this a couple seasons ago in like um, a mine. I was trying to make a mine look really fancy, but I was like mm. down to our basement. It's kind of mine like too. So I I, yeah. so I had that element, and I thought that looked really neat. Is I I ever had our pattern? I did this so. It's a stone brick, and then that's a and a polished andesite slab, and that's a andesite stair, and it makes it look like it's like built in with the stone brick itself. Mm. I thought it looked really neat. I just using something other than like the stone brick, like it looked like because like polished andesite. If you just glance at it, it kind of looks like stone brick. It just looks like a stone brick that's not cut correctly. Like especially the slab. Look at the slab compared to the top of the stone brick. It almost looks like it's like missing the bottom half. Mm. It's neat. I like that. And then having a the little background here looked really cool in my eyes yeah. too. 
But, I mean, other than that, I didn't do anything in the trading room. I, I thought it looked fine for a long time. I still, I need to work with my guys some more, of course, to get some more, and uh... the two polished basalt behind it and different orientations are great. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Wedge. I really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. I, I call myself a builder, but I'm still very insecure about my builds myself because I have things that I'm just not very good at still that I need to challenge myself to work with. But this is something that definitely was out of my comfort zone, doing a, um, doing... Just multiple of these and making them look uh, different. And also just a nice way to light up the area, especially once I took the torches out, because the torches originally were in this, where these stairs are. But with um, me putting these stairs here, I had no way to put lights in, so this looked really cool in my eyes, so I put that there. And you might notice there's a barrel here. This is actually a gift for Koda. I'm not going to show it on stream. She could check it out later. Yeah, as soon as I can get on. I didn't do anything up here. I left up here alone. I think eventually maybe I'll do an expansion at some point if I do. And I'm still kind of back and forth on it. So and I showed this off last stream, my whole uh, my new dock area. But what I didn't show off last stream is I did some more detailing over here. I think I showed off. I put these, uh, these trap doors here for like awnings. But what I didn't show off because I did this off camera, I put glass in here. So if I jump in... Or if I drop an item, it doesn't go to a seafloor. And also, there's lights here, so drowns don't wind up in here. Because the other day, I walked in here, and there was a trident drown just hanging out oh waiting my to kill. Gosh. Like, I walked in, and I caught tritons to the face, because he was just, like, right here as I was, like, getting ready to get in my boat. Jeez. So, I went ahead, and I uh, put this glass in to separate me from the seafloor, because it dropped something, and also I got the... Well, stuff floats now, so that's not as much of a concern. And also I've got like um, these lights here to hopefully push the drowns away, but like I've come to find out drowns don't really care much about They don't care about light. Light now. actually. I'm drowning, I'm drowning. <laughs> You're I'm gonna drowning. become I'm a gonna drown. become a drown in a second. Yeah, drowns don't care about light, so it's yeah, kind of a meh, but yeah, that was my detailing on this. Um Wedge is looking interested. Yeah. <laughs> thoughtful and then um of course i shut off this last stream too and uh between now and last stream this popped up i think this is berserker she's making a floating island i think right here i think so she gave she got permission from me i had no problem with it i actually besides this little dock area i had no plans for this lake so it was just like shoot do it i mean it'd be awesome just give some kind of like unis uniqueness to the actual like area here just having a floating island uniqueness make it look mystical you know i guess yeah i also if you can't notice i flooded the area with torches here <laughs> because i got tired of getting killed while i'm walking between my house and the shopping area Mm-hmm. terraforming in the woods no i, I haven't i actually haven't been over there so Am I okay to show it on camera? Because also I'm walking over here towards Moon's Bay, Moon's uh, courthouse. That's also looking much different from last time I showed it. I'm only gonna glance at it. I'm not gonna like show it off very much, but it mm -hmm. looks like he's just uh, he put the he put part of the roof on, and it looks pretty cool. Yeah, Look it at looks that. really cool. You can see he, it's been so long. I I think he worked on it earlier today, but he's been on. He's been on, like, building on the roof for so long. His dirt blocks he's using for uh, for scaffolding is getting grass on them. Yeah, they're Which is pretty grass. funny, but <laughs> it's actually not because he hasn't been on that much. It's just because uh, everybody's been on running around this area all day. I know especially I have trying to, like... So, let me tell you the pain of opening a shop that has a bunch of colored wool and no shulker boxes to move things. So, I got all my inventory slots... And then I'm using my ender chest to move wool into the shop inside the mall. So that took forever and a day. So Enderman Clan, whatever you, if you guys are going to sell shulker boxes, I will give you my money. <laughs> I will gladly give you my money. So I know just from my hours of AFKing approximately where Wedge has been just because I've, just, I've had my map open while I've AFKing. I think it's like right over there. <laughs> He's gonna open one. Oh my soon. god! Please, I hope so because I, I really am wanting some shulker boxes. I think I think, too. I think Dax would thank you too. Not gonna like, lie. I'm. You know what? With the whole thing with with End Clan, Enderman Clan, whatever they're called. Um. Honestly, I'm okay staying out of the end. I don't like the end that much. I just want the the loot. You know, I want the wings and. 
I want the shulker boxes. She just wants wings. That's all she wants. And shulker boxes. And shulker boxes. <laughs> well, I, I have a theory that shop that Berserker's going to open is going to be think, wings. Yeah, I, I think, yeah. That, that's gonna, my theory, too. It's that but... or she's making a Trident store, which if you did, you got me because I was thinking oh. about making a Trident store. Too. Whoa. Oh, what? This is the underside this of it. This is the world. This is the underside of it. This Go is, up. This is get out. The wedge, this get is, out. This is the world before Wedge Talon. Get out. The land long forgotten. But what is going on up here? Ooh. Okay. 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 Like so you're making hill. like a big hill up here. Okay. See on the map, when I was AFK, I look over and I would see this big area expand over the forest. Mm -hmm. I thought that was him tearing down trees. Cause I was like, oh, he's, a, he's tearing down trees. But no, actually it looks That's like very you're cool, though. you're building a big yeah. you know, hill. Which that is, is cool. It looks cool. like it can. It looks like it might connect over here on this side, oh, yeah. where it has like a little yeah. hill here too. This is great. I love. I love this. I love. <laughs> I love watching terraforming in process. She in, could in sit the down. Process. She could sit down and watch just. Oh like, my god! I could watch hours of people just it's terraforming. Very satisfying. What's going? It's satisfying, and I love doing it myself too. <laughs> like it's... I enjoy terraforming. I think it's such a enjoyable and satisfying process yeah. is that sheep clan's base like right over here was tearing down trees too huh is that sheep clan's base like right over there and also like uh, this guy it's <laughs> just a block of dirt you got so many oh i hey, bet you know what? so many leaves when we're terraforming the shopping area we might buy those leaves off you buddy um yeah i think that is sheep clan somewhere over there yeah i think i think sheep clans like right over here they have a river that they live on yeah i know it's weird for sheep but yeah yeah it, this is it it's right there oh wow look at that actually i haven't seen their base in a while last time i seen their base it was like a hole in the wall but like somebody's been like expanding and st like what is they got like a board am i being nosy am i think i'm allowed to show this or should i just leave Maybe we'll look off stream just in case it's anything sensitive. They got a board over there. I wonder if it's like your attack plan or something. Oh no! Are the sheep's turning? Check the board. Check check the board. Wait wait hold on turn around turn around. What? This way? Oh never mind never mind never I was mind. Gonna say, never mind keep going. I, gonna say, I, I thought should, I, I should do. So, what, okay I'm gonna I saw do... the I saw the mushroom through the leaves and I was like whoa is that oh, like it's... a new texture thing? Oh it's not an attack plan okay. So I'm doing oh, so it. So Wedge knows something about so it. So <laughs> I'm doing it because Wedge is a nine month sub. If you guys sub on Twitch, I'm more likely to listen to you backseat gaming. Just gonna say. So please <laughs> subscribe to me on Twitch. I'll gladly backseat game for you. He's seen it. Okay. Okay. Put comments here about the sheep base outside. Oh, excellent guardsman in the boat. Yeah. <laughs> Zero out of ten. All oh, count. no sheep! <laughs> oh my god. That's great. So it's so true, true though. It's I, so true. I like uh, I like this though. That's pretty nice. Yeah, hold on. Look at all the look at all yeah, the signs. We missed a couple. We are friendly. Don't mm. attack us or steal. We are on the white list. Okay, okay, what is the third there was another sign on there. On the board. On the board. Oh. Uh I like the base. I like okay. the base, yeah. It's pretty cool. Sign. Oh, he's, oh he's got sign? signs in there. Okay. Put up a sign. All right. So funniest, funniest. So funniest reply in the chat goes in the sign. You know what? I'll, I'll come. I'll come back. I'll come back to this. Is this outside of base only, or is this inside of base? It just says base outside. Okay. I also want to look over here. What's going on with this water? I would say it's odd that they have. Um, that they're whitelist, but they their horse is dead. Yeah. One of those messages is already mine. I bet yours is the all cows, no sheep. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> oh, they made the hearts in the uh, wheat. Something like, tells me that's unintentional. I like their wheat heart. Their wheat heart. Something also, tells me they that's have unintentional. A, I, you know, it's kind yep. of... Yep. <laughs> so, like... I'll be real with you. The whole like aesthetic of like the sugar cane around the edge. I know it's just for purpose, but I think it adds something. Could... To, it adds something to the base. That guy's dying. No, he's trying to swim. That's he's, what's happening. He's gonna mess up their wheat in two seconds. Not gonna lie. Maybe that's what happened. I imagine oh, they had like some creeper issues. There's even a chicken here. It's still no sheep. So, also they're a white clam, but 
what's up with that? That looks like maybe they're mixed. But the white flag right there. Yeah, they do have a white flag. They also have two Pillager flags. Yeah, which... well, from killing them, so. Yeah. You Interesting can't say stuff. About that. Um, okay, so. What will we put down? What will we put down? What will we put down? We put down. Um, should we say we like your wheat heart? <laughs> or say nice sugar cane? <laughs> How about you should feed your horse? <laughs> <laughs> your horse is looking a little uh, like bones. Like like you could say skin and bones, but there's no skin. Looks a little bony. Yeah. Looks like your horse looks a little bony. Um. What? What? No. 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 What? Why? No. No. Not no. 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 What are you doing? E Y. No. Just why? Bony? Yes, bony. Also, a little is two words. Maybe feed him. <laughs> okay. I don't have I don't have other colors of dye on me anymore. I thought I had some dye on me. Nope, not in there either. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? Actually, I stared at it for a second. I was like, huh? Yes, yeah, so I know what you guys are thinking. The glowing obsidian breaks end chests. Yes, yeah, so one day I got, very, I got very brave and I tested it and it did break the end chest successfully. And I was very happy about it. Because I was going to be very upset if it did. Yeah, especially if it's supposed to be the equivalent of a diamond... Loki, but you have to have you have to have the uh, silk touch enchantment. Though. Yes, it still has the silk touch enchantment on it. This is my silk touch pickaxe. Yeah. So like I did that strategically because I can hold it like this while I'm at my level grinder and it gets a lot, it gets it heals. Oh, that does work. It heals and because oh, it's silk touch. Yes. Because of silk touch while I'm mining stuff, it doesn't get experience like it like anything else would. Yeah. But it only works with like the modded gear. So annoyingly enough, all my netherite stuff I have to. Well, actually, I could do this with a sword too, technically. So I can hold my sword like this. I'm holding my sword like a gun. It's kind of weird. <laughs> like I look like a guy. It looks on... like a, uh, a a lance. I got or it on... a javelin. Oh, that's even cooler. I got a... where's our where's our lance add on? That'd be pretty cool for horse combat. Ooh, that would be. Also, fun. like better horse armor would be cool too. Like I'd like to make netherite horse armor, please. Or enchant, or we could, get... or maybe enchanting horse armor would be cool. Oh, that would be pretty cool, maybe. I'm just naruto running through the trees. Horses don't get enough love. I know, Agreed. right? Like, Agreed. I feel like they should give, like, a little armor set for all, all like, friendly mobs, too. Like, horses and, like, dogs. The horses got armor, but, like, maybe dogs could get, like, an uh, armor, yeah. too. Yeah, you remember there's, um... I remember the texture pack, the like fantasy texture pack. Yeah. Gave dogs like some sort of like armor looking kind of thing, and it was like really really cool. All right, so here's the big reveal. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you my shot. Oh, by the way, I didn't show these off. I made some custom rocks. At least I think I didn't. You these... think you didn't? I'm not sure if I showed these off last stream or not. Oh, we need more dog breeds. I we... know, right? Yes, I, I we would... were talking about this. I, I, I would love, oh like, my gosh. and not dog breeds in the sense of like, here's a German Shepherd and here's a Chihuahua. More like a dog breed, like, give them other skins to look like maybe a Golden Retriever, a Yellow Lab, a Brown Lab, and like other dogs that are like similar size to. No wolf. one calls them a Brown Lab. They're called Chocolate Labs. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you got Phantoms. Like, give me, uh, 
give me like dogs that have like the kind of coats of like similar dog sizes to wolves so like german shepherds so, like german shepherds yeah. german shepherds freaking dobermans and uh freaking dobermans chocolate labradors huskies huskies be so cool i know uh, it kind of yeah. looks like a husky but it's not it's not a husky because yeah there is way too many cats and then then accident oxalotls still exist too mm-hmm no, not axolotls. Uh, axolotls came and they got like a bunch of skins that also are different breeds, kind of. But what I was gonna mention was the axolot, the the ocelot still exists in the jungle, but doesn't. Oh do my anything. gosh! Yes. They neutered that breed. That's it's so kind of annoying. annoying. See, so, yeah, so I like you can befriend them by feeding them. And yeah, we, we got three free frogs, frogs too. too. Yes. So this is my publicity. I made this sign. I also made a post on Discord for my wool shop being open. So here's my little sign. The wool shop is open. Which, by the way, guys, I killed a bunch of uh, glow squid and got some ink sacks to upgrade my signs in here so they're more legible for when people come in here my uh, my donation center. Which, by the way, this is a donation center. It's technically my first shop, but I don't make any money off it technically. Any, any Minecraft money off it, so like... It's kind of a shop, but it's more like a community service thing. I don't know, but like I call it, I call it a store still. So I got that year. I got it all glowed up and everything, so that looks nice. But the big thing is down here. So I made some custom banners for outside the store. It says wool for my wool shop. It's behind. That's why it's like skipping. What? Hmm. No, that's not what I was looking oh, at. Oh, okay. So I got some banners out here. Oh, that was you. Well, I'm glad that I'm glad you liked it because Pilfered so much carpet. <laughs> that was uh, that was all the carpets that you've seen in the floor in the mansion. So that's why all those are gone. I took them all and I put them in the donation center. I also used them for some decoration here too. Mm. I made this before I had the wool store, by the way. So that was a pain to kill all those sheep. But now they're now a hole in the nether. Nice. <laughs> the nether needs to be pretty. Wait, though. they don't burn. I if they get caught on fire probably but i thought i thought stuff in the nether that is like flammable normally just randomly catches on fire and which by the way guys i did want to make a public statement that uh, my, my donation center is always always open and always ready to take your junk out your chest as we get farther into the season everybody's gonna have more chest clutter and there's oh, plenty of chest in here okay. to throw things in so Feel free to come in here and throw all your junk in. I don't care. There's a chest in here full of freaking netherrack for me. Which, by the way, someone took my netherrack out of there. Which I was like, hey, cool. Someone needed it for something. Yeah, I imagine you'd lose a lot of carpet to, you know, nether lava. Lava's kind of mm. everywhere in the nether. It's kind of rough. Yeah. I'm surprised I, the blue ice doesn't melt in the, leather, but in the nether. But I feel like that's probably because it's like permafrost type of situation. But, yeah, so here's the wool shop. I'm right next to where Moon's gonna put his bounty hunter shop, and I'm right down the road from Faze Plaza. Six plus double chests of netherrack. Hey, you know what? Come in here, drop Whew. it off. At some point, I think That's I might insanity. build with some nether brick, so that sounds cool to me. Here's my carpet shop, so I got it all labeled out. I got all labeled up with the, of course, the item frames with each color carpet so you can see I got them broken into stacks of 32 because it's one diamond for 32 stack of carp of uh, wool and of course you can also mix and match with 16 so if you only want like just 16 of cyan color wool you can also mix and match it with like 16 of blue wool and you just pay up here and which by the way guys we also take big orders so if you, for some reason, need, like, maybe a chest full of, like, white wool, purple wool, brown wool, whatever, we can fulfill that order, but the price will be negotiated. Just put the big order, just put a note in here with your big order, like, the details of it and everything, and I'll get in contact with you once, I, once we discuss, once I know what price might be for it. So you don't have to, like, come in here and, like, pilfer all the stuff that's in here. I will go and, like, specially harvest you your big order at my uh, my factory so my wool factory <laughs> but yeah so i decorated it so originally i had it kind of plain in here because i wasn't exactly sure 
Yes, I did. The yes, item. I did. Yeah. I put a little sheer here because I thought it looked really neat for what it is. So yeah. Originally, I was actually using some of the mossy, some of the mossy uh, wood too, but I changed my mind on I it because I thought I forgot about that. I forgot that's I used, a thing um, now. I used I used too much of it, and I didn't like the way it looked against the wool. I thought it took too much away from the wool, so I got that. And originally, I was also going to, instead of using item frames, I was going to use vases. But I found out you can't put the wool in the vase, so that kind of sucked too. But I'll use a vase on my next on my next shop, I know it, because I want to use that vase item, because it looks really cool. It's one of our add-ons that we have, thanks to Wedge Talon. We have a lot of really cool add-ons I really want to try incorporating onto my builds this season. And uh, especially these placeable items. I want to do more stuff with these, so I'm going to start doing some more aesthetic builds that involve stuff like that. But I got every color of freaking wool in here. Yes, I'll come to the house. So every color of wool in here, just place a diamond in there. Take a 32 or take two 16s. It doesn't matter. And, of course, you can take as many as you want. So if you want to go and, like, give me... You know, eight diamonds, you could take eight stacks of 32. So it's all open. It's all ready to go. I'm going to refill it as I get more stuff in. As you can see, the chests aren't completely full. I had some sheeps for a little bit longer than others. Like, obviously, this one up here, the magenta, needs to really get some more wool for it. But when I go AFKing later, I'm going to get some more of every color of wool. So don't worry about taking my stock. I'm going to restock as we go and also, like... I got a back room here. It's got some extra colors, like, because you can see I got way too much white wool, like way too much white wool. So it is what it is. And of course, I got the book. Read the book for the rules. We forget later. But yeah, the wool shop is open. This rainbow up here looked really cool. I thought it was a really cool color thing to show off the wool, and then I made myself like a little uh, a little custom roof to like my uh, my service desk over there. So yeah, that's that's the wool shop. I'm really excited to really see some people come in here and buy some wool and make some diamonds because I'm taking diamonds. I want to be diamond rich this season. <laughs> I do. I want to be diamond rich. I, I just want to get a bunch of diamonds. I want to get a room full of diamonds while I'm in here. I'm also going to check my clan mailbox barrel. And that's empty, so there's been nothing new. And then, of course, the malls are making some good progress lately. <laughs> I see upstairs... Uh, there's some more shops coming in on the second floor, so I'm excited to see what those are. And don't worry, guys. I'll show them off to you guys as I go. And also, off stream, I also went in here to the spawn, the spawn house. So Moon did some stuff over here for Mailbox for everybody, which, by the way, everybody, check your mail. You might have some really cool stuff. But... Why do I feel like this was actually rewritten by Dax himself? Because <laughs> he, yeah, he did the little fancy. he did the little wave thing. Yeah, it's always Dax. But I, I made a little <laughs> enchantment thing for in here for the spawn house, along with putting an anvil down, putting down a smitting table for like the spawn area in case someone needs needs it coming out the nether for some reason. So that's all here for public access for everybody. You don't need to go sneaking around everybody's houses. In which I'm also saying that because I'm tired of freaking Rift sneaking into my house and using my enchantment table. I know I'm by spawn, but stop. It's annoying. So there, you have like an access point to use one that's public. So there you go. I had enough diamonds and obsidian where I was like, you know what? Fudge it. Let's do it. So I'm coming back over to the house because Coda sent me a, a whisper, not a whisper, a public chat <laughs> to come over here because she's going to open her gift. I made her a gift off stream and I wanted her to see it. So uh, where are you at? Where'd you go? Hello? What? Oh, there you are. Hey. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Coda's rocking the, the uh, Crimson Obsidian Sword. So yeah, see what you got, what you got. Let's get it. Coda's Fork with Impaling 5, Unbreaking 3, Riptide 3, and Mending. After many hours of me grinding, I got the perfect fork for Coda. So it's uh, it's kind of like a... So I and some have, squid heads. I've got the loyalty. She's got the Riptide. We're Squid Clan. We're the Ocean People. I thought it was very fitting. At some point... I think we're both gonna get one of each, but I wanna see Coda on stream like rip that tide. Rip that tide. 
And now she has a way to like launch it for Elytra too when she gets one. Whoa. <laughs> that was high. Can you get on top of that pillar? Which one? The one over here, the dirt pillar. The dirt pillar? Yeah, over here. I know, it's so cool. I also kill myself the... a lot of it too. Yeah, over here in the lake. Oh my god, yeah, I go crazy in the rain of Riptide. It's insane. So yeah, when it's raining, Coda, you can go ham with that thing. Yeah. Are you uh, in the lake? No, not yet. I'm working my way over because I decided to go a stupid way. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I see. I see. Also, the dangerous way. Here comes a skelly. A skelly boy. Oh no, he walked the air away. He knew what he was. He didn't want this. Alright, so, Coda, let's see if you can hit the top of that dirt pillar that's gonna be the flying island. No. Oh, but you, no, hey, but quite high. You're close, though. With an elytra, maybe you could do it. I don't know. That's cool, though. That's cool. Tis. Tis indeed. She's got the power. She's going to be a threat in the water, so watch out, Blacklist. She's going to murder faces. Which, by the way, we showed off last stream that Coda's got a mercenary business. Mercenary? Yes. She's a headhunter? Yep. Or did we show it? Yeah, we did show it off yeah, last end of end of last stream. Yeah. Have you uh, got any contracts, or are you not willing to disclose them? Uh, I cannot disclose any uh, contractual information. You sure? Turn around. Yes. Bennett. I was going to do the 007 thing. Okay, so she can't, what if, she can't disclose the contractual deals. What if I had a contract for your head? Man, that would suck because we're the same clan. Mm -hmm. Are we going to see Squid Clan get ripped apart already? <laughs> nah, not yet. Oh my gosh. It's okay, me and Dax will make a new Squid Clan. He Kidding. already told you no. <laughs> Kidding. Dax already told me no, but he is, very, he is a very nice chap. He's a very nice chap. He is a very nice chap. Reg is calling for a fight right now. Which, by the way, also, I want to show <laughs> fight, off. Fight. I wanted to show this off to. Oh my god. We gosh. can't because I would win. I want to show this off too. Uh, so, last stream, Moon talked about expanding the beach, and he wasn't kidding. This is going to be terraformed into like a beach expansion. Oh, you got two, two, um, two gunpowder. So this is pretty Cause cool because of how far it's going to go. We'll always take Coda. <laughs> Berserker jumping in chat. <laughs> so I, I think uh, I think the real thing that's going to be really cool about this is... I know it's just a square right now, but this is going to be shaped into like an actual like really awesome looking beach. And then yeah. from there we're going to be making our dock. So I actually thought the dock was going to be a little closer to the spawn house, but... Either way, it works. It'll be really fun. And I'm going to be excited to make the some some boats and things to go on the dock when that happens. Uh, Coda, you're actually part helping Moon out with uh, Terraformer. Do you have any plans or have any ideas what to do with this much space? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. I didn't know that we were going to push it that far out, but I'll talk I, to him about his specific plans. I didn't know either, but we'll like, it, it's still we'll pretty cool. We'll put it cool. into action, it's still however pretty it is. Cool. Um, I just need a desert. I need to see. I need to see if uh, if anyone's got. Oh, my phone died. Oh, I, I guess I'll look later. Yeah, which uh, also Wedge, if you're still in chat, can you uh, can you uh, put the coordinates for your desert portal in the important coordinates chat? Actually, come think about it. if everybody's comfortable with it, we can actually start putting coordinates for portals in the important coordinates chat too. If you want your portal to be Hi, known, buddy. there's just a sea turtle over here. Oh, and I want to call Moon out. I want to call Moon out publicly. So, I was our last streamer to stream before. I killed a sea turtle, and I killed it because I wanted the head of the sea turtle because that'll be really cool. I didn't get the sea turtle head, but like privately, Moon was like, "Dude, you killed a turtle." 
in which I said back to him, I was like, Moon, no one's talking about it, but you guys are killing foxes. And that's not cool. <laughs> you guys are just privately killing foxes and no one said a word to him. So the fact he called out me for sea turtles, dude, that's kind of that's kind of messed up, man. <laughs> yeah, especially like the white foxes. They're killing white foxes, the rare fox. That's crazy. <laughs> No, no beef. I just thought it was hilarious. <laughs> and, um... Yeah, some of, you, some of the things I was going to plan is, uh... I'm ready to plan my next shop, actually. Mm. Yes, so I'm opening my third shop. Technically, my second one is going to be making money. And this one's actually going to be an outdoors one. So I'm actually going to make a building outside. I'm not going to I'm not gonna make an air mall thing. Not to say there's, there's nothing wrong with the mall. Like, I like making the shops in the mall because it's just like a pre-made room that I could just kind of put my own personality into. But, I really want to like make an outdoor shop because uh, I really want to fill out the spaces. I think I might try making a shop similar to what I had season two, if anyone remembers. Um, the, uh, the outdoorsy shop that I had. Oh yeah, you've had, um... Yeah. Yeah, Terraflinks. <laughs> Berserker said, I will have you know, all fox heads were collected organically and were only taken before the clan was established. I will... Wait, so you just still have all of the same ones? I will mention that makes it even more crazy because that means you were you were organically harvesting the fox heads before you had a purpose of harvesting right. the fox heads. Right. <laughs> that almost were just... makes it worse. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least it was organic. Wait, 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 what is organically? How do you organically harvest a head? Do you just like... By cleanly chopping it off. Do you just like execute him? Do you have a, yeah. do you have a guilt? They have a guillotine. Do you have a tiny guillotine? That's kind of crazy. Are we gonna build? We, I know at some point I joked about Moon with uh, building a guillotine, a guillotine, a guillotine. I keep wanting to call it a guillotine, the guillotine. Building a guillotine outside for when you lose your court case. Oh. Sometimes you get bored. Animals are just. And look what the <laughs> Moon was the one that called me out for killing the turtle. It's exactly that. I just wanted the cool head. and give me the cool head. You can just ask really nicely with a substantial asking stick. Yeah, you know, that is pretty organic. If you did ask, can it's just always like, may I have your head, please? It's always good sure, to go have ahead. Here it's you go. always good to have consent. So it's always Man. that's always really good. That's a good I'm not moon, I'm just a psychopath, not a sociopath. Wait, is that a sociopath? Yeah, sociopath. I'm not I've got I'm a psychopath, not a sociopath. I've got feelings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm so glad we had you, Berserker. <laughs> yes. You're crazy. Same. But. Yeah, it's been, a, it's been pretty good. Whoa. Hello, Zombo. Whoa. Was I, just, I just I just lagged. <laughs> I had a major lag. Especially it's been really good being on the actual server. So the server has been running really clean for us We've had no issues with like, you know lagging out too much I've had a couple of times where I think it's because I've been afking around like a wool harvesting machine I'm a little laggy, but it's nothing crazy It's nothing crazy at all And also I've been playing on Nintendo switch and Nintendo switch version is sometimes a little glitchy So when I get booted off the server, I 100% blame my switch and not the game itself but, yeah, so I'm going to go over to the shopping area. Okay, I'm going to try to find this desert portal. They send you the gourds to it? Oh. My phone is dead. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. But I'm just going to try to find it, see what happens, you know? Yeah, it's going on gonna, an adventure. It's going to be on the ice on the ice path he's got somewhere. Just start walking in portals, see what you find. I mean, uh, if you find... is it labeled? Is it labeled, Wedge, if you're still ah. here? Is it labeled? Wedge, did you, label your labeled. did you label your portal? Please. Please. <laughs> so, Wedge, this is your uh, chest monster here, by the way. Like, can I... Uh... Nope. Oh, okay. Berserker, nice. my personality is made of sarcasm. 
Salt and bread making. Every time you mention bread, I, I honestly get a little jealous. <laughs> Especially after, like, the pictures of those cookies and stuff. Turn right at the four-way path. Then it's the next right. So, I think okay. I'm gonna... Okay. I think I'm gonna claim a spot, like, right here, maybe. For, uh, my next shop. So, from the spawn house portal... It's mostly because I don't like this. Is it left or right? That's a good point. I'm gonna guess right because it looks like to the left not all of uh, the ice path has been like laid up um, like decorated and stuff is that what it's right called? For, yeah right from spawn and follow until you hit my four way um berserker BBs will be open soon I just gotta get past exams first Ooh. oh it's okay yeah do do your exams you know yes. pass it better pass Good luck. it yeah we're excited to hear how well you did yeah of course school minecraft's awesome and all but school comes first or yes. your passion comes first if it's not minecraft your passion is most important be careful at the desert i have not spawn proof okay oh, that's, that's fine that's i have I have some torches, so I can at least like spawn for a little area. I should have brought a bed. Like I'll be real with you. I'm gonna a turn lot of... around and and grab a bed. So the reason why this season we had to go and look for like a lot of new members is because like a lot of our members from last season had a lot of like passion projects they wanted to move on to work on. They couldn't commit to the Minecraft yeah, season. Yeah, so like no hard feelings. Yeah, no anything. hard feelings at all. And that's why also they have like an open invite. They can come back whenever they want because like. It's kind of like, okay, yeah, go do your thing, and, like, you got time to play, you have time to play. It's why uh, we don't have Diggy here this season. And originally, that's why we didn't have Dax here, but now Dax has got the time now. Mm -hmm. Which, big shout out to Dax, he really helped me off a Redstone project recently. I won't talk about what it is, because it's a very secret project. It has to do with that shop over there that I just labeled out. So I just made a. I was gonna like actually like start trying to like lay a foundation down, but right now it's just cobblestone because I want to make sure and talk the moon, and find out if that's an okay spot for it. I don't want to build something and have to move it later. So yeah, he's been he's been on a lot. He's been doing a lot of stuff. Um, I would show you off his base because his base is freaking mad, but. Oh, it looks I so cool. Don't I haven't wanna... been in it, but I've seen it from a distance. Hey, I know Rift watches these, and I don't want Rift to know where his base is yeah. because he will raid it. <laughs> I hear, I know you're here, Rift. If you're not here right now, like during the stream, I know Just you're quietly. here eventually. Just and quietly. I know you're watching. You're going to find his base, and you're going to raid it. <laughs> and two, it's also his stuff, and I don't know like how public he wants his stuff to be. Yeah. Like he's probably so he's actually respectful. so he's not online. He's not online right now because he's at work. He's talked about how he's been working a lot, and it's totally respectful. You know, do your thing, man. But yeah, it's really cool talking to him, doing some builds with him and stuff like that. He's uh, me and him have some gr have some uh, some uh, group projects we're gonna work on later. So that's gonna be exciting. I had Fourth Dakota about one of them earlier, and she was pretty excited about it too, especially. Mm -hmm. Yes. Also, absolutely. next time I see Moon, I gotta ask him how to copy banners. I could not figure it out for the life of me. Oh, I think I know how to do that. You do? I think so. Okay. How? So, you go to a loom. Okay. With a blank banner and the banner that you want to copy. Okay. Uh, I think I need a white banner. Give me a sec. Uh, okay, I'm at the four way. I'm gonna go grab some. Blue. Where, where did he say? Four way. Uh, and then it's the next. Turn right at the four way, then it's the next right. Okay. I gotta grab some wool. I don't have any white wool to copy the banner. Yes, so back there, there behind the counter is just my extra wool storage. I had an odd number of wool. Ooh. 
goodness. So originally, How were there some skeletons over here on the path? So originally this post was made for me to keep my horse nearby, but it's now made it to where my my chest monster is just Moon's stable. Uh, that's not Moon's, that's mine. Oh, it's yours? I thought these were, I thought these were Moon's. No, those were mine. Oh. The reason I kept killing his was because they weren't tethered to anything, so I thought they were just like randomly roaming around. And that's why I kept uh, killing them. Okay, I hope this is the right that he's talking about, but I, but I kind of feel like it's not. So let's go and see if we can make a copy. Skellies still spawn on ice. Oh! Yeah, so we can't spawn-proof the ice. So that's kind of annoying. Well, he said it? that he can put down buttons. He said I have to put down buttons eventually. That's going to be a hell of a project. Yeah. That might be a, that might be a good community day, just button another. Yeah, maybe. So what do I do? Okay, so... So, I got... so get the, the banner that you want to copy. Okay. And then I think you can put a second banner in there. Uh, maybe. Or maybe not. Maybe never mind. Use the crafting table, he says. Use okay. the crafting... Oh, uh, hey, man. Welcome. Okay. Um, for some reason there's no crafting table out here, so I gotta go well, back I to my thought, chest monster. I thought I knew how to do it, but I guess not. That's how you do it with maps, so I just kind of figured okay, it would be the same thing. Crafting table. Crafting table. Um, crafting table. So, uh, huh. crafting? Yeah, so, uh, oh, I can place you. That's here, cool. let me see your here. controller here. for a second. Yeah. So I'm in the crafting table, Moon, from the Great Beyond. Okay. If you do that. No. 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 Apparently not. Place the white banner under the squid. Maybe it's because you have two. Like under, like under it, like the stack. <laughs> I don't so, know. Maybe it is. I have two. I don't know. Just reverse it. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to. <laughs> we'll figure it out one way or another. Hello? <laughs> Squid, will you get onto this banner? You cyan. Oh! oh! So you need a cyan banner instead of a white banner. Okay. Oh, you're right. It says this is a cyan banner. Oh! I mean, cyan on me. Oh, wait. Hey, 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 hey cyan banner. Cyan banner! Hey! And my chest monster. Hey! Okay, boom. Boom. Oh! Why does it only give you two? Why does it just give me two? Is it because... Is it because it can only copy one at a time, maybe? Maybe? What if I... Boom. No, Still just... Maybe if you do... Maybe if I don't put the two do squid one banners at a time. in. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, there we go. Hey! I, I don't blame you. This looks like it would just be like the base color would be the, the squid. Not the squid. This looks like the base color would be the actual area around the squid. But... You want to make all five? Yeah, do all five, yeah. Okay. I can... I put squids everywhere. Hell yeah. Okay, cool. Cool, you got six cool. banners. Well, I'm one of go. them you gotta put back. Yes, I gotta put one back. <laughs> One's moon. I can't steal from the town. Be treason. It'd be treason, so I can't... Yeah, I'd have I to get on it. you for that. Yeah, exactly. By as, the way, as lawkeeper. By the way, how is law? How has crime been lately, lawkeeper? Um, considerable. Okay, is that a good? That good? Not necessarily. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know we're me, me, Wedge, and Moon are about to get fines for chess monsters. <laughs> yeah, I gotta start putting out some notices. 
and watch magically if my chess monster will be gone next season. <laughs> next season? Next season. I'm gonna get, I'm just gonna collect fines all season. <laughs> I'm kidding, kidding. I'll clean. I'll clean. I'll clean it up. <laughs> just says, uh oh. I'm gonna clean it up. That's what's gonna happen. Okay, I found a portal finally. I wonder if this is the correct one. Oh, no, oh it's a thunder. It's a thunderstorm too. Uh, no, this is not the correct one. <laughs> I went the wrong way, I guess. I just have to get rich enough that I can afford the fines. <laughs> And she's she gives steep fines. She's gonna hit us with five hundred diamond <laughs> fines. Oh my gosh! You think I'm that cruel? I don't know what the law. We don't have a. I don't know what the law. I don't know if there's a standard law for. You're right. I gotta get on. I gotta get on the uh, specifics a, of it. There's a standard law for fines. Well, I am the law, so. <laughs> I don't know. Did I tell you the wrong portal, Coda? No, I think she's... I think I just went down the wrong way because... Yeah, she got lost. There was a... Oh, no. What? Oh, no. <gasps> Ooh. Hmm. Bum, bum, there bum, we go. Bum. Okay. All right, guys, let's... I just... There was just a tunnel, and I decided to follow it and see if that was the correct way. Um, so that's probably my bad. Nice. Where do you piglin. go? Piglin. Not where, gonna touch you. Where did he go? Where did he go? Seriously. Who? There was a creeper over here. Where did he go? <laughs> I Good see, luck. I seen him. Where did he go? I'm gonna have a boom happen behind me. Oh, there he is. Yeah, one of my favorites. I just wish it did more damage. Oh, oh you missed. Why would you do that? Now you have a charge creeper. Strategy. Why? Oh. Demir Skelly. You truck. How did that happen? You truckhead. Get oh, out of here. Sweet. I found the. I found it. Cool. Okay, I'm sleeping because this dangerous. Okay. Now there's so much desert. I gotta get digging. <gasps> yes. What? Zombie herds. God. Get out, go, 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 run. Hey, you run, got one run, heart run, left. <laughs> run, run. Bye, guys. I'll see you later. That was fun. Was fun. Let's not do it uh, again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes, I got zombie heads, though. Ha ha ha. Now I can make a zombie wither. What? I it's can not make a, a thing. It'll be the it'll be a mutant zombie, just like the old, the old Minecraft mom. So it'll be a mutant zombie, oh and a zombie gosh. wither. Okay, so mine all you want, Coda. His only plan for a desert is dig. Okay, cool. I was just gonna take a tiny section, but now that I've got the okay, I'm gonna go ham. <laughs> Not really. I I don't really need that much sand. I just need enough for terraforming. Would that be a zid a zid a zid a zidler? A what? Um, a zombie witter? A zidler? A, hey, a I zi don't even a know. A zitter? A zitter. I like zitter. He sounds like he has an acne too, but whatever. It's fine. <laughs> Okay, that's cool. Okay, so I got the squid. I got the squid banner right there on the house. How's it look, Coda? 
Ooh, very cool. I like. <laughs> a little acne problem. <laughs> yeah, he's got an acne problem. <laughs> he's just a teenager. Yeah, he's just a teenager. He's a zitter. Who got zombified. He, yeah, exactly. All, all of his friends did it, so he was like, well, I guess I gotta do it, guys. Oh my gosh. Peer pressure yeah. to become a zombie. Yeah. All they friends. all watched Warm Bodies. They all loved the movie Warm Bodies. <laughs> the cinema the cinema masterpiece Warm Bodies. I mean, I'll to be low fair, key, I, I enjoyed it. that movie. I was gonna say, low key I liked Warm Bodies. It was yeah, really I, I liked it was that pretty, movie. I thought it was compelling stories. It was a different zombie movie. It was it was kind of a, the same old zombie movie, but it had like different elements to it. It's kinda weird. Mm. Like it's the same it's different but the same. Maybe it's because like it's got similar like elements and stuff to it, but like, like the whole like apocalypse and like you're one of the last people there. She's one of the last people alive, and mm -hmm. the cool thing is like the zombie is like they're turning humans and everything. All right, so there's our base with some squid banners on it. It looks pretty nice. Thank you, Moon, for the assistance. I'm now going to continue to do this like a hundred times over and put squids everywhere. <laughs> I'm gonna use this as like my flag, as like I've claimed this and named squid. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Blake is outside the yeah, our, basement door again. Yeah, our cat, our cat's going oh ham outside gosh. the basement. It's crazy. By the way, shout out to three viewers. If you guys aren't currently hey, following us, hey give us a, give us a follow. Really would appreciate it. We love the support, and we'd love to meet you guys and talk with you if, you know, you want to talk. We're talkers, if you can't e tell. Exactly. Especially him. Of course, if you're a lurker, lurk. I don't care. I'm not going to force you to have your own comfort zone, but, like... You sound I, very bitter about it, though. Well, I can, well, I, I, I can respect it because I'm a lurker in a lot of chats, too. Oh, I'm Actually, not. Actually, <laughs> I watch, um... Where, where did I put... I'm not usually. Normally, I like to be, uh, very conversational when I'm, uh, watching something. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so I lurk in a lot of chats, personally. Nope, I don't have any cyan. I don't have any more cyan wool, but it's fine. I'll get some more later. I don't want to use my stock, because Wise Man once said, you don't get high on your own supply. <laughs> what the... Are you talking about Breaking Bad? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Wise man once said it. I'm just saying. That's goddamn right. Oh my god. So yeah, so I've got that over there. Should I say what the shop's gonna be? Should I say it, Koda? It's up to you. Okay, so. It's your shop. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be making a uh so here soon, I'm going to be making a redstone ice harvester to make an ice store where I'm going to sell ice. And also powdered snow. It's mostly going to be powdered snow and ice. I'm not going to sell like regular snow or anything. I thought <laughs> it would be really luck. cool. It's going to be an, it's going to be an, it's going to be like, a, I'm going to model it to look like an ice cream store. It's going to be pretty cool. I'm, I was making jokes a couple weeks ago about having the Froyo. It's, this is going to be my Froyo store. It's going to be selling ice and powdered snow. I'm just going to be looking up redstone tutorials to make the machines to harvest that stuff, so. That's going to be really fun. I don't typically show off my, uh, my things that I use to harvest my supply on stream because I want people knowing where I'm harvesting at. And, um, I also, uh, don't build so I used to, so back in the day I used to build my redstone machines live on Twitch but then it would end up being me watching a redstone tutorial building the machine from that tutorial and it was just kind of not really content because I was so focused on building it I wasn't talking so I'm not going to build the redstone machine I'm going to be harvesting this stuff with on stream because I don't want to show off my stuff but And also want to stay engaged with the actual stream. Well, I, I looked up, uh, I looked up, like, well, I don't know if it's going to be blue eyes. Yeah. So, Wed said that he can't wait for the, oh, yeah. Wed said he can't wait for a Froyo store. I can't wait. It's going to be really fun to make, like, an ice cream store. But, uh, also it's going to be, um, 
I don't know if it'll be blue ice. I might have to harvest that manually. I don't think there's a redstone machine for that. But I'll do some more research on it, of course, to see what I can't figure out for it. Maybe I'll make a TNT harvester. <laughs> a TNT launcher to blow up blue ice or an ice spike by him. I don't hmm. know. I don't know. It'd be, be really cool. But... Anyway, guys, I'm sure something exists. Exactly, you know? I think so too, and I think it'll be uh, it'll be fun to discover stuff. But I think I'm gonna start out first with making the store after I get the approval that it's good to build the store here. It might be a little smaller, maybe not this big, a little smaller. I'll make like a cool little ice cream sign on it though, so that'll be cool. I mean, I'll, make, I'll do some pixel art on top of the roof. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, that'll be all for this time, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'm just doing some showing off. Some yeah, I'm doing some showing stuff. off, doing some talking. talking Not really about much building. Upcoming projects. But next stream, we'll be building. Oh. Okay. So just it sounds like. Nine ice to one packed ice. Nine packed to one blue ice. But also, yeah, the whole selling ice thing will be very valuable for uh, the redstone community of the server. So, such as Wedge himself. Yes. So, such as Wedge or uh, Dax. Cause I don't count myself in that. I just look up redstone tutorials. I'm not a wizard. Yeah. I, I, don't, no. I don't. I don't do magic. I just try to. I just try my 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 my, my humble Muggle brain just tries its muggle. hardest to just put a couple <laughs> of brain cells together and just make something that's magic. But I'll see you guys next time. This is me, Jimmy Gamer, and Coda. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you for joining me. And uh, at the end of the day, it's uh, it's all about you know, Friendcraft's all about playing Minecraft with friends. And me streaming on Twitch is how I like extend that to like share with my friends and like a very vocal and public thing and like showing off the world that is really coming together. That always looks awesome and it's looking great. To everyone else, in case there was someone out there who wants to do a, who wants to join the Minecraft server at some point. So, uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys next time, guys. See you next time, Wedge. We'll talk to you later. Have a good night. Bye.